Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making a mango cream pie with dun -dun -dun -dun, vanilla wafers for the crust. And at the end, I'm going to be sprinkling, sprinkling this on top. This is tahine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, people put this on mangoes all the time. So I was thinking, what if I made a mango cream pie and sprinkled it on top? You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 for this pie recipe. So I have a little Cuisinart here. And I'm going to fill this right on up with vanilla wafers. Probably gonna do this about two times, fill this little guy up. Now, I don't wanna get it too fine, like flour texture. I want it to be, you know, like a graham cracker crumble crust. So, just like a breadcrumb, te a breadcrumb texture. And some of these didn't break up enough, so I'm either gonna break them up or I'm gonna take the big chunks that are left and just throw them back in there. Cause I'd rather have a few big chunks to pick out than grind up this too much. I'm gonna fill this up one more time. So, so far we have about, a, I wanna say a cup. Yeah, like a cup of crumble. So I'm gonna say two cups. Now, if you're doing a fat bottom, like a deep pie, I would do two, three fourths cup and see how that works for you. But I am doing a more shallow, traditional pie plate here. I have my pie crumbs here all nice. Then I have a bowl and I am going to be sticking about a third of a cup of butter in here. Microwave safe bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this butter in the microwave till it's completely melted. Okay, so it is not completely melted. So I'm just, it's almost melted. So I'm just going to swirl it around and it'll just melt real quick. And then I'm just gonna pour, not all of it. I'm gonna leave like a tablespoon left over because you don't wanna overdo it with the butter. I just like to get a fork and swirl it around a little bit and see how much butter I really need. Cause I didn't measure out the cookies, I just eyeballed it. So I gotta do this and see if the texture is right. And it looks like I did not need that much butter cause this is coming together really nicely. So you want the texture of this to be like good enough that it like sticks together still. Oh yeah, and I have salt here. I'm just gonna do just a pinch of salt into this pie crust too. Get all of it nice and incorporated. See if I need more butter. I've also heard people say it should be the texture of wet sand, which is true, it does feel like wet sand. So now we're gonna go ahead and push this down and all around the sides of the pie plate. So now, I'm just gonna get a nice layer at the bottom. Just start pushing it down. And then kind of just make like a little divot. And then you just kind of start pushing it up against the sides. like so. This pie, we're not gonna cook the crust all the way to start. 
So we're only gonna stick it in the oven for about six minutes. While that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get the juice from these beautiful, my favorite mango. I like the little yellow ones and they're in season right now. So another reason why I wanted to make this pie. So so a mango, they have a very long, thin seed in the middle. So I'm just going to try and cut down on either side of it. See, there's a seed right there. So... Just gonna slice them like this. Kind of a cross pattern. And then you could go like this and pick them off. I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm gonna put it in the Cuisinart. You could also use a blender, but I already had my Cuisinart out. We're just gonna throw the mango in there. I'm actually just gonna pick it out with my hands. I find that works the easiest, to be honest. It's a little sticky, but you could always wash your hands. At this point, the pie is out of the oven and I let it cool on the counter for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna pop it in the freezer because I want it to be cool when I put the ingredients in, which I'm gonna put into the pie crust really soon. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend these up. I need a cup of mango juice. So I have one more mango left over. If this isn't enough, this was four of those mangoes. So let's see. So we need a cup of mango juice. This needs to be blended up a little bit more. If there's chunks in yours too, just blend it up a little bit more. next time because a Vitamix woo, that just blends everything into like oblivion this is also a very old Cuisinart like food processor my mom gave it to me I don't know how old it is like she had it in her house when I was like growing up I think I'm not quite sure but so four mangoes and I got a cup from it. Nice. One cup of mango puree. So now is assembly time. So I have two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk here. I love this stuff for pies. It's so good. Hold it out. Two eggs. And then I'm also going 
to zest half a lime in there. And we're gonna use the rest over, see how I didn't zest it all? We're gonna use the rest over for the top of the pie. It's around. All right, now on to pouring it into the pie plate. All right. And this is the pie. And look, it's really hot right now. No jiggle. So if it jiggles, it's not done yet. I'm gonna let this pie cool for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge until it's completely cool. And then we're gonna finish the last steps. At this point, the pie is chilled in the fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and make the whipped cream. I'm gonna put about a cup of heavy whipping cream in here. I'm also, going to put about a tablespoon of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm just gonna turn it on. really high. You're going to want to whip it until it does this, where it just stands on its own and it's like, you know, whipped cream. Take this off. And then I don't have any more piping bags, so I'm using, I only have tiny ones, a little Ziploc bag, but you got to do what you got to do, you know. So I'm just gonna take some scissors and just cut the end off. Now I have pipe things just like this straight out of a bag, but I do have the little like piping thing, so I'm gonna shove it in there. So you can stick it down in here like this and put it around the rim. So you don't get all dirty. Makes it a little easier. To get the whipped cream in there. Like so. Now I'm just going to put this on here. However you want to do it. Sometimes I just do it not even fancy, like today, I think. I don't know. Let me just do it. So I'm just gonna do little balls all around the edge. Now we're gonna add some lime zest on top. Here is the pie. And then I like to put this on at the end so I don't put it over the whole pie. I'm just putting it on my individual slice. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.